to control the menu on um, your Blackboard course. Okay, so I might just go back a window here, uh, a couple of windows actually. Let me see, get back to where I was. Still going. Ugh. Okay, so we're in a course and down the left here is the menu. Now what I'm experimenting with the idea of is to reduce this menu down to pretty much nothing and to run an entire course through announcements only. Um, I'm not sure if it'll work but I just would like to have a play with that idea anyway. So as an, an administrator or a facilitator to the course uh, you click control panel, panel and down here on course options there is manage course menu and you notice that announcements is visible and here's these two says this item is not currently available to students. Now that's a good option uh, to keep it like that instead of removing it because if you remove it and you did have resources behind it and everything like that everything would go. So across over to the right there is modify or remove. Now we don't want to remove we just want to modify it so that it's not visible. So I clicked modify and then allow guest access uh, and uh, make available for student participant users. So I've just unchecked those so that it won't be visible and submit and just give you a preview of that it's done and we go OK. Alright, moving down the screen we've got these here, communication, e-groups, websites, tools. I might just turn them all off, why the hell not? OK, modify and make it unavailable and it's a different window for sound communication because it's a communications link. So um, it's given me enable disable tools. For some reason it's got announcements as disabled, almost make... Oh, that's because if you were to click this... That's right, if you're in the menu and you click communication, it would come up with all of these lists to choose from. And so I'll just turn them off anyway, even though they won't be visible because the link won't be available. And then it tells you who did that affects, all users. Uh, uncheck that, and then submit. And OK. Alright, so we're getting there. Three more to go. Modify eGroups, and we want it not visible, and submit. OK. Instead of repeating it, I might do something different this time. We'll modify websites, and it looks like you can rename it. OK, so that's how you control the naming of your um, menu items, but I'm just going to turn them off again. And the last one, tools, and we'll just point out here, see how it's numbered? That's the order in which the menu would display. So if, if, it was, if I change tools to one, it would send it to the top. And modify that one and make it unavailable. Uh, but just so you know, when with a tools menu item, there's all of the items that you could choose to have displayed. And I'll just turn them all off. Bronwyn's going to hate me. <laughs> OK, submit, and OK. All right, that should be all of it done. If I wanted to add um, a tool area or add a content area, a course link, external link, and stuff like that, I click those buttons there. So we'll just go back to the course menu and see what it looks like, and there it is, down to just announcements. So my theory is that I could run a Blackboard course entirely through the announcements only asking students to uh, check once a week or once a day whichever the frequency of the announcements are and to follow the instructions from there and in the announcement will be links to resources and things like that. Uh, okay, so it's pretty much turning Blackboard into what's a bit more like a weblog except as private and login and all that sort of stuff.